My name is Dr. David Boschel. I'm a vascular and interventional radiologist and I work at uh, Sydney Adventist Hospital. Well, interventional radiology is a uh, technology dependent uh, specialty. So with the advent of new technologies, a lot of those technologies can get taken up uh, by interventional radiology procedures. So with the advent of new vascular um, devices and new ways of performing vascular imaging, we can uh, incorporate those into our existing uh, therapeutic procedures to make them safer, make them faster and make them more effective. And um, with the advent of totally new technologies, we are able to, able to provide um, uh, totally new treatment options uh, for patients. Um, for example, um, we are developing new ways to perform ablation of uh, tumours in the body all the time and um, that allows us to perform more and more minimally invasive uh, tumour treatments on patients that previously wouldn't have had this sort of uh, treatment options. I think one of the major um, developments in uh, interventional radiology and in interventional neuroradiology is the endovascular treatment of stroke. And that is something that has um, happened in the last, say, five to ten years. And it is going to revolutionise the way that we treat patients with stroke. We finally have an effective treatment to restore uh, the blood flow to uh, the brain in acute ischemic stroke. And I think that's going to transform the lives of people who previously really had very limited options um, for which is uh, for what is a essentially a very debilitating and a devastating disease. We now have the technology to um, uh, restore the blood flow to the brain in an emergency stroke situation. And if we can get our patients into um, our um, angiography suites fast enough, there's a chance that we may be able to save the brain. This is what's happening now and uh, interventional neuroradiology has taken off um, in a field of its own and um, I think with the advances in interventional neuroradiology we're really going to make a big difference um, in what is a, a very common disease worldwide.